Hey there guys and welcome back to another video here at Top Tier Garage. It's nice seeing you again. Today we'll be showing the true capabilities of the Bauer 4 volt lithium ion screwdriver. Let's go. So the reason I'm making this video is because the Harbor Freight $5 tool sale is coming up. It is March 27th to the 29th and you can pick up this little screwdriver for only $5. It's normally priced at $20 but with the use of a super coupon you can get it any day in March for $15, but why would you do that when you can get it for only five? There are also five other $5 tools there that you can pick up, but you have to choose which one you wanna get. So on the 27th and to the 29th, in order to be able to use this coupon and get it for $5, you need to spend $50 in store, not including the price of the $5 tool. If you'd wanna pick up all six tools, you have to spend $300 to get them all for $5. In my honest opinion, the Bauer screwdriver and the central pneumatic nailer are the only two with the most bang for your buck. The $5 grinder is often on sale for $10 with a coupon. It's not a bad throwaway grinder. No need to spend $70 on a DeWalt when you could have seven of these. Okay, that's enough chit chat about the sale. I will hopefully be doing a video later this week on the sale, but now it's time to talk about the screwdriver. Starting off, let's get some statistics out of the way. The little screwdriver comes with a 1500 milliamp hour battery, which is 1.5 amp hour. But remember, it's only 4 volts. It also geared so far down that it only spins at 180 RPM. That's right, you heard me right, 180. To give you perspective on that, my rigid drill spins at 2100 RPM, which is 11 times faster. These things aren't going to win any races, that's for sure. Now that we have the stats down, we can bust out the drill in real life. As you can see, this drill is fairly large in size and made entirely out of plastic, which is expected of a $5 electric power tool. But when you hold it in your hands, it actually feels really solid because it is heavier. The handle rotates so you can switch from a pistol style grip to a straight design in order to get in tighter spaces if you need to, which is super helpful. On the end, it has a tiny single LED flashlight, which be could be used in emergency situations, but it does not throw off that much light at all. But with a massive battery powering that single LED, I'm sure it'll have an absolutely crazy runtime. The switch is not progressive either. It's either at 100% or nothing. And even at 100%, it's nothing too crazy. So you may ask yourself, what is this screwdriver even practical for? It's great for hanging pictures and assembling IKEA furniture, but I'm thinking about pushing it to do something more strenuous which brought me out here to the deck. I was scrolling through Facebook one day and I saw someone asking about the screwdriver and a comment said it's for hanging pictures and not building a deck, which is how I got this video idea. And I'm out here on the deck trying to prove this man wrong, but is this little four volt screwdriver enough to take out every single screw of my deck? Let's find out. But before we get started, Make sure you guys subscribe to see future content. Subscribing to the channel not only helps me out, but also helps you stay up to date on the latest Harbor Freight comparisons and reviews. I'll be posting at least once a week to stay relevant. I'm on the road to 100 subscribers and I'd like for you guys to tag along for the ride. All right, now time for the real fun.
after a full battery, I was only able to take out approximately 70 screws. To be honest, I'm surprised it made it just past five, but it just kept chugging along. Every once in a while, there'd be a tough screw that would give it a hard time, but this guy clearly has enough torque. Now, we're gonna charge this guy up to see how long it takes. So after a long three hours, this thing has a full battery and is ready to get back at it, but I have some bad news. I knew you guys wanna see it, but I'm not gonna take every single screw out of my patio because it would take absolutely forever. How long would it take exactly? It has 70 screws of charge and the patio having about 800 screws, it would take about three hours of just continuous runtime on the drill, which is freaking crazy. And then it would be approximately 36 hours of charge time to take off the deck. So instead of making a two day long video, I'm gonna show you how the screwdriver works as a drill. A few modifications were needed to make this screwdriver hold the actual drill chuck, AKA super glue was used. Otherwise the chuck would just slip out due to the fact that there's just a magnet holding it in place. We're gonna drill a three eighths hole into this two by four and see how many holes it can make. Due to the fact that this drill spins so slowly, it doesn't have enough RPM to clean out the flutes, so I have to pull it out manually so it doesn't clog up. This drill was able to drill 17 holes in this two x four in a single charge. It took about forever and a half to do so. Even though the uses I showed you today may not be very practical, it does show you how tough this drill really can be and may outperform any expectations you have of it as a junk drawer screwdriver. This drill can almost do anything as a regular drill can do. It'll just take you 10 times longer. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for sticking around and remember to like and subscribe for future content. Thank you.